All that you guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if y'all are new. My name is Chana, if y'all are trying to discover what's popping. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. We will be doing the... Oh, girl, I'm like, what cat is outside fighting? Okay, never mind, it was the a cord hitting the desk thing. Oh, don't get me, no, don't do me, okay. Anyway, we're going to be doing the makeup resolution tag. I just got off work. I have 30 minutes of sleep today. Yeah. It's a day. I haven't been able to get a really good sleep in a hot minute, and I don't know why. Probably because I've been sleeping so good, and my body's like, yeah, okay. I tricked you. Your ass got used to this sleep schedule now, bitch. And guess what? Your ass ain't going to be able to sleep no more. Problems. But no, for real though, we gonna be doing the makeup resolution tag. I seen my best makeup bestie, Mr. Janessa, <laughs> Jay Champagne, Queer Bones did it. He doesn't know who I am. I am Jamia. Also did it. That was a collaboration between those two. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. I kind of like that. So I kind of want to do it, you know. So some of the people that I watched did it. And it kind of just intrigued me to do it. Now, I'm okay with jumping on tag bang wagons because it's, people have different a answers for those questions. I am not okay with jumping on the same bang wagon as the trends and trying to keep up with the brand new nigga. That is not okay. My pocketbooks cannot keep up and nor do I care enough to try to keep up, okay? Excuse me. But tag videos, because they're like the same thing with different answers, I can deal with that. But yeah. Let's go ahead and get into it because there's 10 questions and I already am a long with the person. So question number one, something you do regularly in your makeup routine that you will try to stop. Overly blending. I want to stop over blending. What I mean by that, you guys, if you guys watch my tutorials, I like to build up. Okay, well, I can't say blend, overly blending. I guess it'd be basically building on my transition shade too much. I blend a lot throughout my tutorials, and I blend a lot, like, going in. I kind of wanted to try to lay back on, like, blending out the transitional shades, because it's just a transition shade. It's not going to be the main shade you see. It's literally just a shade to make sure all the other shades apply evenly. Excuse me. I drank soda. But I, I'm constantly going ham with the blending shades. And then, of course, you know, you go back, go back through all the shades and you know blend and read fly all that but i just feel like i overdo it on the blending for this still not look that good you know so i want to try to stop like over blending the transitional and building up the transition shades too much yeah excuse me a brand question number two a brand you will try for the first time we just tried it the basic canvas palette by painted this is a brand that i've never tried and it's actually my first time trying it i actually am quite impressed like james charles did it with this formula like i haven't seen anybody else's reviews or whatever covers the case maybe like this is just the first initial impression thoughts i honestly really do like this palette the eyeshadows blended themselves i really didn't have to go over too much of course i still you guys gonna go see what I mean when I watch the video. I still went back and forth a lot between the shades, you know. Yeah. But this is a brand I finally was able to try. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I like supporting YouTubers and smaller TikTokers or whatever with their brands. Because, you know, if I had a business, and I would want people to support me too. But James Charles, I'm not gonna lie, is not, like, one of my big mainstream YouTubers that I, I care to watch anymore, but I still had to support a little bit, you know. But yeah, this is a, the brand I tried for the first time, and I'm not even, I'm not even mad at it. I thought it was going to be Odin's Eye would be the first brand I tried this year because I'm so, like, eager to buy something from Odin's Eye, and I keep looking at it, but I never, like, bite the bullet because some of the shit's expensive, but it's like, you know, I want the single eyeshadows. Okay, that's the only thing I want, really. Just the single eyeshadows. 
So, question number three is a brand you will let go of in 20, it said 2023, but I changed it to 2024. Look, girl, let me, let me tell y'all something. A brand I would, I would let go of in 2024. <laughs> um, give or take, in what context does it mean, like, let go? Like, stop buying from? All of them. Let me be completely 100. I would let go of all of them. I say all of them because I have enough makeup to last me a lifetime. But, like, since makeup is not my main focus, I would be okay with really not purchasing anything new. Like, yes, I love buying new makeup. I love buying stuff from, like, Blend Bunny. I love buying stuff from P. Louise. <sighs> Sorry, I had to yawn. You know, I like a little bit of Tarte here and there. I like a little Mar makeup by Mario. I'm going to say Mario Badescu. I like a little bit of bougie brands, but I'm not really looking to buy much of anything, honestly, from any type of brand. I do collect Blend Bunny and P. Louise products, so those are just kind of a out of, like, habit, habit purchases, but I'm okay with letting go of all the brands, honestly, because if and when I do a big, this big decoder I want to do, a lot of the brands I own are probably going to be gone anyway, I don't know, yet. I haven't decided if I'm going to do it, but if I had to pick, like, one brand to let go of, it'd probably be Beauty Bay. Not Beauty Bay. What the fuck is that? Brain call. Melt. Shit. Jesus Christ. I don't know why. Like, why did Beauty Bay pop in my head? Cause I'm thinking about the berry palette and how I want to do tutorial with it. But no, Melt Cosmetics will be a brand I let go of. Yes, I love Melt Cosmetic Formulas, and yes, their eyeshadows are really blendable and easy to work with, but the price of those palettes, that and Patrick Ta, girl, I'd ho oh, oh. They expensive. The only time I buy Melt is when it's on Black Friday, and their palettes is like 25 bucks. But Melt, I give a, I give that up any day, as long as they, you know, keeping that $65, $70 price range. Mm-mm, give it. Can keep it all the way. Keep it, did it. All right. Anyway, from question number three to question number four, what makeup technique would you like to learn or try at least once? Oh no. Quite honestly, I don't. I don't really follow tips and tricks on how to do makeup. I just kind of like go with the flow, trial and error type situations and see whatever works but I don't know like I, I honestly cannot answer the question because I never thought about like oh let me go see what type of tricks and whatever oh no okay I did I did so sorry y'all my old looks like a mug but so P. Louise has this 50 50 method where it's like half on half off I feel like that's how most people blend their eyeshadow anyway, but some people don't, because I like to go in with a clean brush and go in small circular motions and, you know. But there's other ch shit tips and tricks. You can take a little bit of eyeshadow and go slightly half on the eyeshadow and half off the eyeshadow to create this really pretty gradient effect. So I guess the 50-50 method from P. Louise is the one I would want to perfect. I have tried it, and I actually blew my eyeshadow that way a little bit now, so... I guess we have to think about it a little bit, but I don't really try to follow people's techniques and stuff. That's only like the only I think the only one I do. If I had to be completely one hundred. So anyway, yeah, I would definitely try the fifty fifty method, half on, half off. Small movements. Okay. Question number five. A product that you will leave in 2024. A product I would leave in 2024? 
Ooh. Girl. I feel like a lot of people are about to be mad. But it's all right. Ooh, excuse me. But it's all right. This thing has so much hype. Girl, we're leaving this in 2024. I'm going to try to use this up for the best of my ability. But we're leaving this shit 2024. I don't know what the hype was. Like, yes, it looks huge. But if you put on too much, it looks like a mask, girl. It looks heavy. It looks cake. It, 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 no. It doesn't sit on my skin like as nice as I want it. I don't know. I just, I have a love-hate relationship with it. Like, I do. It's cute. It's a decent color match. I'm a little bit not as yellow as this makes me look. But I could live without this. And I'm okay with letting it go in 2024. Like, I let it go. Let it burn. Let it go to ashes. I would not be repurchasing it. But, mm -mm. This is a product. We're going to let it go in 2025. Okay, we let that motherfucker go. And right back, guess what? I'll give you another option. This is the Flawless Longwear Liquid Foundation from A.L.A. Studio. Now, don't get me wrong. It was only $1.55. You think, oh my God, it's $1.55, so it's not going to be that good. You'd be totally wrong. $1.55 is not that bad for a price. I mean, it's not. Some of the foundations on A.L.A. Studio be smoking, killing me. But this one is just not. It's just a little, again, a little too heavy for my liking, and I'm just like, I don't get a lot of use out of it, and the color is, like, super red, so I just look orange. I just, no, it's not my favorite, okay? It's definitely a hard pass on those. Only reason I keep them is because I don't like wasting my stuff, so I try to get as much use out of them, if I possibly can. And then if I can't, I'm just like, okay, chunk it, chunk it, chunk it, chunk it, chunk it, you know. Anyway. Number six. A product you would give a second chance. A product you would give a second chance. That's kind of hard, honestly. But there's so many products I've tried, and then so many products I've been. Mm, I don't really like you, but we're gonna try you anyway type of moment. I've had a lot of those moments, but I don't know if I would like, be willing to give. A product of second hands. I don't know. If I, I guess if I had to pick one, it would be the Charlotte Tilbury Bronzer. And it might just be because I got mine in the wrong shade that I don't care for it. But I don't, I, it works. But not in a way that I would be hoping. I don't really be like looking like a whole Oompa Loompa or orange. Because, you know, people just be doing too much. But they make up sometimes. And I'm that person. Sometimes I go over a whole bed with the bronzer and I be looking on bloom ish on the side of my goddamn face. But this is number five. Okay, what? Sorry, y'all. Number four. <laughs> four. This is four. D. It's just too red. But if I... I still use it in a way that makes zero sense. But I use it enough to get a little bit of use out of it. But yeah, this is this is something I would give... I give I'm going to give a second chance. Maybe I can, like, mix it with something and be like, okay. But other than that, it's, like, way too red on my face and it just makes my face look dirty. Sorry, y'all. It's that, like, no sleep kicking in that makes my brain scramble eggs. I'm just like, I'm like, you can take shut my eyes. And it's only 4.30. Okay. Question number seven. A resolution for your YouTube channel. I'm guessing resolution means like goals or something. Like, I don't fucking know what that word means. My brain is scrambled. My resolutions for my YouTube channel, y'all, is to be able to use what I have without feeling like I'm left behind because I don't buy all the new stuff. Basically, like, just enjoying my collection to the fullest. And loving what I already have without having an over excessive amount of it, if that makes any better sense. Just being content with what I have for the most part, okay? That is my resolution for my YouTube channel. Like, just being content with what I have. And, um. I don't remember. I don't remember. 
Because, yeah, I don't know. It's not time for bed. <laughs> so, anyway, question number eight is, do you have any skincare resolutions? Wash my face more. I'm a little lazy when it comes time to doing that. But, no, not really. Just washing my face more, taking better care of my skin. That's, that's generally about it. Question number nine. What? Question number nine. A YouTube beauty challenge you will partake in. I don't know. I'm not much of a challenge person because I'm not that much creative. But uh, I do challenge myself every day to like get up and go to work, even if I'm not mentally prepared or whatever. But other than that, like. Really like jump into like battles of anything or challenges because you never know how to end up. And I just I, I, I'm not a beauty challenge type of person. I will like I said do a tag video or some small stuff like that. But everybody's really gonna be. Question number ten. <laughs> A beauty habit you need to stop this year in 2024. Shopping. That is my habit, you guys. That is my guilty pleasure of indulging and stuff is shopping. I need to let it go. Like, be like Elsa, let it go. Let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Let it go, let it go. Okay, I'm gonna be like Elsa and let that shit go because I cannot sing, so I'll also go let it go. But yeah, like shopping is my main, my main squeeze, girl. That's what I do, boo boo. But like I said, we need to shimmy it on out, shimmy it on out, let it go. Hey, hey, let it go. Hey, hey, I don't even know. But anyway, those are all t 10 of my answers. Hopefully this video was entertaining for you guys while I'm like halfway asleep right at this point. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see. Any questions, comments, concerns. Leave them all down in the description box. Or not the description box. The comment section. I'm going to take this makeup off. Take a nap. And I'll see y'all guys next time. Bye.